Marcus Conti reporting on Trump, the Trump bump. You know the Trump bump in the stock market? But this time the Trump bump is down. The Trump bump. <laughs> He's bumping it down. Fucking Donald Trump. So Donald Trump, uh, President of the United States, Donald Trump, went on a tear, a Twitter tear, blaming China for just about everything. Let's take a look. Well, let's look at the market first. Right Now, Marcus Conti has predicted that the market will... Will greatly de- will greatly depreciate along these lines uh, in the coming months. My target is about eighteen about uh, eighteen thousand on the Dow. We're currently at twenty five thousand, so we're we're on target to lose an unprecedented seven thousand points on the Dow. Now, if you don't hold any stocks, it doesn't really matter. But right now, today, at this moment in the in the great in the great U S of A. The Dow is now 439 points, 1.67%. Why? What happened? Stocks drop after Trump orders U.S. companies to leave China. China. (laughs) Let's see. So what did he say? What did the Trump say? Our country, this is, uh, looks like about an hour ago, 10, 58, 10, 11 o'clock. About an hour and 20 minutes ago, Donald Trump, our country has lost stupidly. (laughs) Ah, That's a good word, stupidly. Our country has lost stupidly trillions of dollars with China over many years. They have stolen our intellectual properties at a rate of hundreds of billions of dollars a year, and they want to continue. I don't, I won't let that happen. We need We don't need China, and frankly, we would do far better off, far better off without them. The vast amount of money made and stolen by China from the United States years after year for decades will will, will and must stop. Stop in capitals. Our great, you think he actually writes this stuff, or or he he definitely has a proof a proof guy, right? Somebody that that, you know screens for uh, for for typos and all that shit, right? For decades, will will and must stop. <laughs> Our great American uh, companies are hereby ordered to immediately start looking for an alternative to China, bringing, <laughs> including bringing our companies home, and make our uh, and making uh, your products in the United States will be. I will be making your products in the United States. I'm sorry. I will be responding to China's tariffs this afternoon. This is a great opportunity for the United States. Also, I am ordering all carriers, wow, including FedEx, Amazon, UPS, and the post office to search for and refuse, what? (laughs) All deliveries of fentanyl. (laughs) Oh, man. How many, how many orders of fentanyl come in from China? Fucking zero, you idiot. Fentanyl kills 100 million people a year, Americans a year. President Zhu said this would stop. It didn't. Our economy, because of our gains in the last two and a half years, is much larger than that of China. We will keep it, keep it going. Well, Mr. Trump, the, the, the gains, if, if the stock market is your measure, since 2017... Well, in two and a half years, yeah, it has it has gone up, but it's going to go right back down. That's the, that's the point, and he knows it. Right? So, so there's Trump's uh, there's Trump's. Now, what is he saying? Let's analyze what he's saying. Right? First of all, first of all, he's not saying he's saying our great American companies are hereby ordered to immediately start looking for an alternative. <laughs> think about think about the double speak there. Immediately start. Looking, that's like, that's like saying you better look for a new new place to live. First of all, for companies to, companies are on life support. They they function on you know zero percent interest from the United States government. They don't pay any tax. They 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 shop around abroad for slave labor. They take their their positions abroad because it's cheaper to manufacture this stuff. But the long story short is that it's like. Saying, telling the American companies to, telling American companies to to uh, stop stop their their dealings in China, is like asking a plant to uproot itself, walk down the block, and plant itself somewhere else. Uh, the the roots are very deep. That's why you have to you let them do let the fucking companies do what they got to do, 
and you tax them. You fucking get the tax money. You don't treat them like uh, like royalty. You don't say, oh yeah, you know, it's, just, it's such ass. It's ass backwards politics. The other thing is he's he's arguing with um, with uh, the Fed chair. I forgot his name. The Fed chair. He's arguing. Trump is telling the Fed chair to cut the interest rate again, uh, but you don't do that. When markets are up, that's not the strategy. The strategy is not to, to cut the in interest rate. The cut, you cut the interest rate when in times of trouble. You use it as an emergency lever. But Trump doesn't know anything about macroeconomics or stock market trade. All he knows is that that message, when you read it, when you read this message to the sleepy masses, our country has lost stupidly and China is to blame. That's a, this is a political pitch. I, it rocks the market because they don't know if he's serious or not, right? So they, they pull out, especially on a Friday on the, the end of a closing, you know, end of a end of a trade. Let's see if it's going down, right? So it, just in making this video, the uh, Dow is, where is the Dow right now? Dow is at, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, summary, 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 summary. So the Dow is at uh, 4, uh, 464 now, let's see. 462. All right, so it's teetering. It's teetering right around there. So, so, um, so, what is the? How's the post? Let's see how the post frame. The Wall Street plunged Friday after Trump, after Trump ordered U.S. companies to seek alternatives to doing business in China. The Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, dropped more than 400 points moments after Trump launched his Twitter tri triad, uh, <clears throat> lambasting China for intellectual property theft and fentanyl shipments to the United States. That's a, just a ridiculous fucking thing that he said. Uh, just throw shit in, just throw, throw shit from left field. We don't need China. I already read it. We already read it. Both the, both the S&P and, and the NASDAQ joined in the bloodbath shedding 1.6 points. It's not that big of a deal, really. What else? <clears throat> Apple, which makes many of its products in China, dropped 3.8%. Ooh, that's a hit right there. That's a hit right there. So Trump said, you know, look, it's easy to say, it's easy to say, bring our companies home, but it's hard to actually do the thing that you need to do, which is antitrust laws, right? They have, they, they're monopolies. You got to break a lot of them up, especially big tech, big banks. Right? You got to break them up. You don't give them all the tax break. So again, Conti, all right, I'm a socialist. They're fucking socialists, right? When you say break up the banks, when you say have a, a, a uh, uh, t you know, take the socialism of the 1% where they get all the benefits and, and, and squeeze them and let that money hit the real economy, and give it back to the people, that's socialism. It's just, it's just so ridiculous, right? But, uh, but that's okay. You know, that's okay. So Trump, Trump will, um, if Trump gets another four years of this, I, I, don't, I don't see how the market, honestly, I don't see how the market could... Um, could survive much more, right? Oh, it's just one last thing, and I'll let you go. Just a short video. So you see this, this what, what I'm watching right here is you see this, this dip. The last time it looked like it was over was here, right? That last big dip. You remember everybody was crying, crying the markets that were in a bear market, and then it rebounds because Trump pulls the Finnegan pin. He pulls a little move. It goes back up. You start another war. Oh, that it was over war, right? We're gonna we're pulling the troops out, right? And the market crashes. No, 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 I was only kidding. And the market goes back up, right? So now he's, it's not about war. It's just the, 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 the revelation that our corporations are on life support, that they don't really have this, have a business model that is, is profitable and equitable for all people, right? It's becoming crystal clear. So, uh, so anyway, <clears throat> the Trump bump down, <laughs> Trump bump. So we'll see what happens. You know, we'll just keep following. Marcus Conte reporting at some point. There he is.